hi guys welcome back to the channel so in today's video we are reviewing my new iphone 15 i got an iphone because it's time for me to upgrade guy it was so time for me to upgrade and then my phone space was not helping at all i had a laptop also but i can't really use the laptop because i don't really know how to edit and i only get it specifically for editing i do all my school works now on it and that's fine but that when it comes to the actual reason why i got a laptop i can literally use it and then my phone memory card was no like was not helping at all so i had to upgrade to get a new phone without further ado let's just get into the video now this video if you are ready for any technical aspect i'm not a tech channel as you guys know already i'm a tech channel if you want to go ahead and watch you know the specs and everything you have to go channel unfortunately i just want to show you guys what i got and then you know how i think about it because i know the 16 is gonna come out in a few probably next month or two but then i actually needed it and then i want to to get the 14 like i was using last year but the shop i went didn't have it and they didn't have it in the color that i want so i had no like option but to just go ahead and take the 15. so this is how it actually comes this is how it comes i chose the black titanium and i actually did a nail you know to go with this one which is gonna come next after this video so make sure you stay tuned for it this is how it come and you know iphone don't really give us anything nowadays so let's just go ahead and open it and see what it gave us this time around so when you open it this is how it comes so beautiful like super this is how it comes you know just like that and then it just give you a cord but the cord is really different you see this one is the 15 and this one is the 14 this is actually like real plastic but this one here it's like um, a material type of um, wire this is the part that it comes with it. The both sides are actually the same. The both sides are actually the same. So it looks like the normal Android own. Fortunately, to get a new Apple reader, which is, I don't get it. Like they keep changing everything. And I mainly got this because of the Apple reader so that I can be able to go ahead and just re record and edit. But now I have to go get a card reader that will have to fix this one. So this is the cord. Both of them are the same. They don't give you anything like that. This is from my 14. And yeah, let's see if it fits. Because if it doesn't fit, I have to go ahead and buy another one. Yep, it fits. So thank God. It is okay. This is the actual phone. so the same thing like the 14 and but this one is way flatter than the 14 and less heavier than the 14 so yeah just normal function you just open it there Yeah, gotta put it at English and then just look for my ink. So it says choose how you would like test an icon to display on your phone. When I got the 14, it didn't give me this option, so I'm just gonna do it I'm at medium to show you like. The preview of how it's gonna look like continue quick start looking for a nearby device bring your current iPhone or iPad near the phone to sign in or sign up I'm just gonna oh my god look at this phone 
I'm just gonna bring it. So I should bring it near. It will be so quick to do. I put down another device. I'm English. I'm just gonna sign it with my Wi-Fi. It may take it may take a few minutes to set up your iPhone. I don't know what today the camera is not focusing. I saw a lot of people saying that it doesn't have a SIM slot, but mine does. Right here, it does. So I'm gonna see if it like a workable slot. Continue, you know, set up for myself. I just have to do this weird. Okay, we are done with. Continue. I just have to go ahead and miss it to my MacBook. I miss it with a bit. They send me a message, but I'm not getting any message. In, in everything is setting up. Everything is set up. Everything is set up. It's so cute. Now this is my problem right here because I was first of all using the first iPhone I got was the eight plus, and then when I set up for some reason, I think I made a code that I need to get my iCloud, and now for the last year, the fourteen pro that i was using i use the same icloud to sign up but now i can't reach it because they are keeping on asking me for a code which i don't know which code they're asking for or from which phone because i went from the 11 um i went from the 8 plus to the 11 to the 14 and now the 15 so now the whole videos i made with my other phone i can't get it back i need to set this phone as a new one which i think is a very very bad thing because i just wanted it to automatically get everything that i had on this phone i don't have to do anything but i have to go and ask my brother now you can customize this one we are done now we got a new phone let's test the camera hi guys welcome hi guys. back to my channel in today's hi video hi guys we welcome back to my channel in today's video we are reviewing the iphone 15 it's very nice i give it a 10 out of 10 for the camera quality the back camera Let's see the back camera. It's very recording. Gigabyte 200. Download the stuff that I actually need, and then I'm just gonna do a little portion of what is on my iPhone 15, right? Real quick. So, the first app I need is obviously my Bible. This, this they have chi, like if you're from Ghana, they have chi, they have um gun fancy english but i don't read chi so i'm just gonna stick with my kim james version on the next app is cup cut app is instagram the next app is youtube short youtube studio for my analytics And then the next app is um <clears throat> the next app is Google Translator. If and every foreigner need it. So yeah, Google Translator. The next app is Verb Forming. Like if you're learning new languages, so yeah, that's Verb Forming for Dutch. This is the app that I use for verbs. It is there, be, does. So it's just an app, this app right here, this yellow app right here. So it let you know the articles of like memes and everything, which is very, very good. And then the very, very important app is my file shooter. Lightroom. So I think that's it for the apps. 
and that's the reason why like my space is always running out because the amount of apps i need is so so like plenty now i have to also download my bank app for my online banking which i need two apps for that i need to download an app for my ticket and my ban and you know buses and everything so it's like that's the reason why i always need like a bigger giga and i don't know why i still went with the same 256 i should have gone with um extra this thing but i feel like since i have two sd card i just have to force myself and be consistent by posting more videos so i wanted to go and get my 14 pro right now that i was using to go on with accessories so i have accessories that i want to use but for the screen saver and the camera saver i have to go to a shop that the man will do it for me because the last one that i did it by myself it actually cost tag with a camera and then the front camera was very very blur so i don't want to do it myself and that place when i go they clean it for you i don't know what they use but they use some spray to clean the phone for you before they put the um the screen on it the, the screen saver on it and it's not that expensive so i'm gonna do that one tomorrow and i have a cover that i bought from sheen but i have my pro 14 pro cover here i don't know if it's gonna fit because it's literally the same but i don't know if it's gonna fit it literally fit yeah it fit but it's not that stable because when i put the 14 it gets stuck inside but this one there's still a little bit of space but yeah this is literally the 14 pro cover and it's fixing it's facing the, the 15 pro so i'm just going to know your thoughts on the phone because a lot of people were saying they don't like it the camera quality is what 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 so in my overall view i feel like the phone is any other phone i don't see any difference with it in the 14 and i literally just stopped using the 14 last week so i don't think it's like any hard or like a big difference i may be saying it because i don't know anything about phones or what uh, but the only thing is like the camera quality and the way the flatness is the 14 is a little bit heavier than the 15 and it's like almost the same just that the ios is a little bit higher compared to the 14 and you can also upgrade it if you are using the 14 up to now so do i think it's worth it i don't know you have to decide for yourself i got it because i needed it so whatever reason that you want to buy it just go ahead and buy it but as always don't look at somebody on the internet to be telling you to go do things that you don't want to do so that's my final thought on the phone yeah, guys i hope you enjoyed the little unboxing that i had for you make sure you hit the subscribe button if you haven't already and i'll see you guys in the next one bye